During this pandemic, many people have noticed their overall health is suffering due to stress from the challenges and changes that COVID-19 is causing. For instance, more and more people are having trouble sleeping. But did you know that sleep apnea could in fact be caused by poor dental care? My next guest is a world-renowned dentist who treats well-known celebrities and athletes. People actually fly from all over the world and even around the country to be treated in New York by Dr. Pankaj Singh. He even authored a best-selling book on implant dentistry with his distinguished background as an oral implantologist. He's also the director of Arch Dental Associates. Welcome to BNC, Dr. Singh. Thank you so much, Lauren. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you also. Can you start by helping us understand why poor dental care can cause problems with sleep and other health issues? Sure. So um, the oral health has been linked to overall systemic health, and that's been known for hundreds of years. Um, in ancient um, Indian and Chinese cultures, um, the one way to look and evaluate one's uh, overall health was to look at uh, their mouths, look at their eyes, look at their fingers, uh, the, the nail beds. So uh, the mouth t can tell a lot about the overall health of a person. And uh, oral health directly is uh, linked to a lot of medical conditions and worsening of medical conditions as a result of dental disease. Um, periodontal disease, which is uh, gum disease, uh, has been linked to heart disease, certain kinds of cancers, lowered immune response, um, higher um, incidence of um, diabetes worsening. So there's a there there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of interrelationship between uh, dental disease and overall health worsening. And people are concerned, of course, because of COVID, they haven't been seeing their regular doctors, dentists, eye doctors, and so forth. Uh, but can you tell us about the safety of, of going and seeing your physician or your dentist uh, with regard to these other issues uh, in light of uh, COVID concerns? Absolutely. You know, healthcare professionals have taken this very seriously from the very beginning. And uh, dentists and physicians have been truly champions of um, not just patient care, but also patient safety. Um, dentists in particular, for the most part, there hasn't been one, as far as I know, and I'm the editor of two academic journals. Um, a lot of time is spent in the academic world. I'm a you know, researcher and a professor at major universities here in New York. So I can tell you that there hasn't been one reported incidence of a patient becoming ill from contracting COVID from a dental office. So that just goes to say how safe dental offices and, and uh, visiting your dentist can be. Uh, dentists have really gone above and beyond um, what would be considered safety protocols uh, from uh, something something very simple as uh, really restricting the number of patients that they see um, you know, per hour to literally one or two and restricting the amount of people that are visiting them or sitting in a waiting room and social distancing, um, installing high vacuum high-powered vacuums, not just in the operatory, but also in their offices. We're using um, UV lights to sanitize the rooms between patients, using fumigators to sanitize you know, the rooms between patient visits, um, staggering the patients between dental rooms, so not seeing enough, you know, as many patients as we once used to. Um, of course, you know, the normal, you know, CDC protocols, um, mask, gowns, gloves, you know, eye protection, uh, that goes without saying, but um, also really taking it to a different uh, level of, you know, double masking. Uh, I can't speak enough of that's, that's how well, know. yeah, how well the dental community has responded to the challenges that have been uh, put um, onto them. And uh, I'm so proud to be a member of the dental community and, and truly couldn't speak uh, more highly and uh, couldn't encourage patients more on uh, really taking care of their oral health and following up with their dentist um, for their routine care because not following up and not maintaining adequate and routine care can really cause a lot of harm. You know, people with gum disease, people with active dental disease, uh, toothaches could turn into root canals, could turn into infections, abscesses that could seep into the bloodstream and can cause other infections. Uh, things like sleep apnea um, can get worse 
um, because of the sedentary lifestyle. You know, we haven't been able to go to the gyms the way we used to. Um, where we have uh, mm-hmm. really, uh, we have sleep restriction, we have sleep deprivation, we we have uh, our system, our, our our literally our schedule has been turned upside down. So we don't sleep well, and as a result, we've gained. Unfortunately, we've gained weight uh, overall as a population. We have. Um, we have gained weight, and that all increases the incidence of, uh, you know, sleep apnea. And and eighty percent of uh, of the of the things that actually oh, do contribute so to obstructive sleep apnea can be found in 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 the mouth. So you know, not visiting your dentist can really you know can really do one you know harm. Well, we had no idea, Doctor Singh, but we appreciate you telling us about all that. Thank you so much. We're out of time, but thank you so much for joining us here on BNC Live. 